Meghan Markle and the Queen could have issues getting along because of a key trait the Duchess of Sussex and the monarch share which they can never change, astrologer Chris Love claimed. Meghan Markle and her grandmother-in-law, the Queen, could see their relationship be strained as both royals want to get their own way, according to Mr. Love. The Duchess of Sussex and the monarch are both stubborn, a trait the American astrologer links to their star sign, Leo for Meghan and Taurus for the Queen. Speaking to Yahoo Lifestyle, Mr. Love said, Meghan's been contributing to charities, advocacy groups, they take so much joy in being themselves and they love to have fun. This makes them a great fit for headstrong Aries and Sagittarius, with whom the adventures never stop. However, this stubbornness may make it hard for Leos to get along with the other stubborn signs, like Aquarius, Scorpio, and Taurus because each one wants to get its own way. Mr. Love claimed being headstrong could also prove to be a useful tool for the Duchess of Sussex as she faces the scrutiny of the world due to her membership of the royal family. The astrologer continued, being headstrong may be a good tool for Meghan because she has to do her thing under the scrutiny of the entire world. Meghan Markle is the perfect example of the warmth Leos bring to the world, they entertain us, they bring us joy and they really teach us how to be proud. Pride is also another key aspect of the Duchess's star sign, with Mr. Love adding, since marrying Prince Harry, her name has been all up in the news but that's literally should food for a Leo. Leos are all about pride, being proud of themselves, being proud of their talents and accomplishments and being proud of whatever role they've taken on to play. It's no coincidence Leo is the sign with strong star power. As for Meghan, she seems to have major pride in her new role as royal. It makes sense she caught the eye of Prince Harry who, as a Virgo, is always looking to improve the world. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle met on a blind date in September 2016 and news about their relationship broke the following month. Increasing interest in the then-actress prompted the royal to issue an unprecedented statement asking the public and the press to respect Meghan's privacy. The pair announced their engagement in the fall of 2017 and tied the knot at St. George's Chapel, Windsor, in May 2018 in a lavish ceremony senior members of the royal family and the couple's celebrity friends attended. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex joined the board of the royal foundations shortly before their wedding and worked together with Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge on several charity causes. Shortly after the birth of their son, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor, in May 2019, Meghan and Harry announced they would split from the joint foundation to create their own. The couple has been heavily involved with various charities and organizations focused on promoting environmental action, debate on mental health and female empowerment. The Duke and Duchess are scheduled to embark on their first royal tour as a family on September 23, when they will jet off to South Africa with baby Archie to meet with local activists and campaigners. Meghan and Harry will travel by commercial flight to Cape Town and will attend several engagements over the course of four days before the Duke splits from his wife and son to visit Botswana, Angola, and Malawi. While in Angola, Prince Harry will rename an orthopedic hospital in memory of his late mother, Princess Diana. The Princess of Wales launched a campaign to raise awareness about landmines in the African country shortly before her death in 1997. The Duke will reunite with his family on October 1 in Johannesburg before returning to London two days later. The Duchess of Sussex jetted off again yesterday, but this time by regular passenger airliner. Meghan Markle, who has faced criticism for using private jets with Prince Harry, flew to America as it emerged she declined the Queen's invitation to Balmoral to support tennis star Serena Williams at the US Open instead. At first it was thought the last-minute decision was because her four-month-old son Archie was too young to travel to Scotland. The Queen was said to have been disappointed by the snub. The Duchess traveled to New York to see Ms. Williams play in the final today. She will cheer on the 37-year-old when she plays Bianca Andreescu, 19, as she tries again to equal the all-time Grand Slam record. Meghan, 38, also watched Williams at Wimbledon in July. But it is Meghan's first trip to the city since her baby shower in February, 
when she partied for five nights at a pound 57,000 a night penthouse with her celebrity friends. The party, which caused disquiet in Britain due to its eye-watering estimated total bill of £330,000, was hosted by Ms Williams and her long-standing friend Jessica Mulroney, 39. Meghan first met Ms. Williams at a Super Bowl party in 2010 and their friendship is thought to have quickly developed through frequent phone calls and texts. Williams, who attended the Sussexes wedding in May 2018, said last year that she and Meghan had known each other for a long time, but we really are relying on each other a lot recently. But the choice of commercial jet for Meghan this time comes after the Sussexes were criticized when it emerged they took four private flights in just 11 days. Prince Harry, 34, later defended their use arguing that no one is perfect, before claiming he would only fly on private jets to protect his family as he launched his ecotourism project. The Sussexes have also been under fire for the use of private flights after they previously claimed they will have a maximum of two children to avoid damaging the environment. But a royal source admitted it has not been lost on the Duke that the criticism he has faced over his own travel could overshadow the campaign, the first for the new Sussex Foundation. It was set up after the Sussexes split from their shared charity with Prince William and Kate amid rumors of a rift. The Queen invites members of the royal family to join her for a short spell during her two-month summer stay each year at Balmoral. When Kate and William traveled they returned on a commercial flight. They visited with their children Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Princess Anne, Prince Andrew, Prince Edward, and Sophie, Princesses Eugenie and Beatrice and even Sarah Ferguson attended the gathering. Meghan's pregnancy meant the couple did not visit last year either.